Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish, Move, Love, and thanks to my brand partner Now, I'm here with a 30-minute leg strength workout you can do absolutely anywhere. Now as a manufacturer of sports nutrition products, supplements, beauty products, natural foods, and more. I've already had my morning dose of beetroot powder and MCT oil, so I'm ready to go for today's workout. I have a set of 15-pound dumbbells. You can grab whatever set you'd like. We're gonna work through strength exercises and throw in a couple moves to raise your heart rate. All right, let's jump into this 30-minute lower body strength workout. I have 15-pound dumbbells. We're gonna be doing repetitions anywhere from eight to 16 reps per exercise. I'll walk you through it as we go. Grab your dumbbells, grab your water, grab a sweat towel. Let's get started with a warm up. So, feet start a little bit wider than shoulder, right at shoulder width distance apart. Big inhale, reach up nice and tall for me. And take it down, forward fold. Fingertips reach the ground. You're gonna plant, give me a crouch, a curl. Push those hips right back up and roll all the way up to the top. Two more times, forward fold. Fingertips to the ground, drop the hips. Send them high, nice hamstring stretch. Reach up nice and tall, one more, just like that. Take it down, drop the hips, send it high. Open up those hamstrings, back of the legs. Reach up nice and tall. Feet go shoulder width distance apart, right into a squat. It's down and up. So you're sitting the hips back, chest stays lifted. A Lot of lower body today, so we gotta warm it up. Sit it down, stand tall, squeeze those glutes. Sit back, stand tall. Give me four more, just like this. Awesome job. Three, from here you're gonna go to a tempo pace. Option to add a calf raise. One more right here, tempo pace. Down, up, down. A Little bit faster, maybe you wanna add that calf raise. Push, down, push to the calves, yes. Woo, warm up those calves, those ankles, yeah. Start to get that blood flowing. All right, we're gonna spend the next 30 minutes together. I'm sweating with you every step of the way. We're gonna get our lower body nice and warmed up. And then we're gonna grab those heavy weights. We're gonna get right into it. Right here, give me four. You got it. Three, finish. Two, and one. You can take the feet even a little bit wider. We're gonna dig into those hips, hamstrings. Clasp your hands together. If you had a kettlebell, it'd be just like a kettlebell swing. You're gonna hinge at the hips, push forward. Hinge and push. So my arms, they're just there to give me a line of direction. They're just swinging. Shoulders are relaxed. The power is really coming from my glutes. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see this. Hinge, swing, hinge, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, squeeze. Open up the back of your legs, squeeze. Opening up right here, squeeze. Nice, give me four. You got it. Three, finish. Two, and one. You can take it to that nice wide. You're gonna rotate the hips over, find a lunge position, lower down, pulse right here for eight. Seven, you can take the hands to the hips, if that feels better for you. Give me four, three, two, full range. Go, lunge and lift, lunge and lift. So my back knee's dropping towards the ground, stand it tall. Shoulders stay stacked over the hips the entire time. Down and up, lunge and lift. Range of motion is up to you this entire workout. Right here, two more, down, up, last one. Take it down, hold the lunge, plant your hands to the ground, Windmill your arm up, you should see my back, roll out your wrist, nice glute stretch right here, that's what you should feel. Right here, all right, bring it back up, rise up, open it up, sink down, find a nice wide sumo squat, so heels can be in, toes can be out, just tap the floor, reach it tall, tap and reach, tap and reach, you got it, nice work. Push, down, up, awesome work. Right here, for four, three, two, and one, take it down, give me a forward fold. Let it all hang heavy, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Roll up to the top, step it back in, tempo squats. Down, can you add that calf raise again? Push, push, picking up your tempo right here. You got it, right here, nice. Push and push for four, three, two, one. Take it back to those kettlebell swings again. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. Swing the hips back, squeeze the glutes, squeeze. Squeeze, you got it. Squeeze, nice, right here. For four, three lunges, other direction, in two, and one, rotate those hips, other side. Drop it down, find that nice low lunge, opening up this hip flexor, pulse it down for me for eight, seven, six, you got it, five, full range lunges. Three, two, full range, here we go. Tap that back knee, stand it tall. Tap and squeeze, squeezing through that front glute, Squeeze it up, down and up. Core stays tight, shoulders 
right over those hips. You guys are doing good. I hope you're feeling those legs getting nice and fiery because we are gonna work them throughout this workout, yeah? All right, give me three. Nice work, two, and one. Take it all the way down, hands, plant. You're gonna windmill. I'm always facing away from you guys. I'm doing this wrong. Here we go. Roll out that wrist, feel that nice glute stretch. Yeah, this is one of my favorite stretches, nice. Bring it up, let's step it in, let's take a pyramid pose. Stretch out that front hamstring, that feels good, yeah? Walk it over, let's go right into pyramid pose the other direction, stretch those hamstrings. We're gonna work those hammies, yeah? Nice, all right, rock it back up. Stand tall, before we get into it, just step your feet in shoulder width distance apart. Hip openers, up, open, down. Stay on the same left leg right here. Up, open, down. Up, open, down. So it's like you're bringing your leg up and over a chair, a stool, a bench, whatever you're thinking of. Nice, opening up those hips. Two more right here on the right side. Yeah, all right, take it to those tempo squats again, one more time. We're gonna squat it out, add that calf raise for me. Woo, and then we're gonna open up the hips the other side, and that's a wrap for the warm up, you guys, and then we grab those dumbbells and jump in. Come on, give me four. Three, two, and one. Okay, step it back in. Lift your right leg up, hip openers, other direction. Yeah, you might need to find a chair or something to balance on here. Keep that core nice and tight. Lift that leg nice and high, open up that hip flexor. I got my heart pumping already, yeah? Strength training, it will raise your heart rate too. Two more, right here, up and over. All right, last one right here, up and over. Nice work, set it down. All right, you guys, grab your dumbbells. We're jumping in, first circuit. Like I said, I have 15 pounds here. If I was at home, I'd maybe even try to go heavier if I could. But grab what you can. You can do this with just your body weight too. First move is a front rack squat. So we're gonna do 12 of these. Weights come up to the shoulders right here. Feet are shoulder width distance apart. Weight in my heels, chest stays lifted. Sit the hips back, stand tall, squeeze. That's one, nice work. Knees drive away from the body as you drop it down. <sighs> Inhale on the way down, big exhale push up for me. Inhale down, big exhale push up. Nice work. Halfway there, you got six more to go, come on. Yes, you can. As you put the weights up on your shoulders, it's easy to let that chest fall forward. Keep your chest lifted. Range of motion again, up to you. Right here, give me two more just like it. All the way down, stand and squeeze. Last one, stand and squeeze. Staggered deadlift, right leg forward, left leg back, taking a staggered stance, weights come in front of me. Then we're using those hips, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips, weights stay close to the body, stand tall, squeeze the glutes. Okay, so all of my weight is in my front foot. My back toe is just slightly on my tiptoe. Right here, weight stay close to the body. Stand tall, squeeze, that's one. You're gonna do eight of these for me. Weight stay nice and close, lower down, squeeze. So where you should feel this, I feel this in the back of my right leg. That's my right hamstring. Slow and controlled on the way down, slow, slow, slow. Stand, squeeze the glute. You know that muscle right between where your butt meets your thigh? That's what you're working right here. Again, range of motion is different for everyone. Maybe you're right here. You stand tall. Maybe you take it all the way down, dig into that front leg. Stand tall, squeeze. Slight bend in that front right leg. Nice, you got one more for me on this side, okay? Take it down, down, down. Stand and squeeze, switch out your legs. Step your left leg forward. Right toe comes onto your toe. You're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Take it down, weight stay nice and close to the body. Stand tall, squeeze. I'm gonna show you what this looks like from the side, right here. Take it down, down, down. Stand tall, squeeze the glutes. Weight stay close to the body, don't let them fall. Up and squeeze, working those hammies. Back of the leg, stand and squeeze. Beautiful part about this workout is that we're gonna repeat each set. So we'll go back to those front squats and we'll do this again. So you can do each move and then you can really master it. Maybe you decide you wanna go up in weights. Maybe you decide you wanna go down in weights. Yeah, you got one more right here, all the way down. Stand and squeeze. Back to me. All right, front squats again. Here we go. Feet are shoulder width distance apart. 12 of them. Inhale, exhale. Now, you can always take this slower. Maybe you speed it up. I should be able to wiggle my toes, weights in my hips. Stand and squeeze. Lower body squats. Squats, my friends, name of the game. They stayed with you through everything. They stayed with me through pregnancy. They stayed with me through pretty much all stages of life. They are beautiful. My core is engaged. My legs are working on all cylinders. Keep those elbows high. If it's too much for you, you can always bring the weights down here at your side, okay? That's an option. Right here. You got two more with me, are you with me? Inhale, exhale, woo! All the way down, all the way up. 
Yes, stay good, stance deadlift. Right foot forward. 20% back here in this left toe. Hinge it forward, let's go, eight per side. Down, lift and squeeze the glutes. Yes, down, lift and squeeze. Now these ones, anytime I do any type of like deadlift, don't necessarily feel it today, but tomorrow you're gonna feel this one, yeah? Because we are strengthening and lengthening. We're lengthening the muscles, tearing into those muscles, but we're gonna build them back up because we're gonna grab some protein and refuel, thanks to our friends now for sponsoring this workout. They're gonna give us some protein options at the end of this workout. Okay, here we go. You got one more this side. Can you do it? All the way down, up and squeeze. Other side. Switching sides right here. Set yourself up, shoulders down and back, waist are tight to the body. Hinge it forward, lift and squeeze. Again, range of motion is up to you. Maybe you just go to your shin area. That's all good. This workout is designed for you, my friends. You do you the best you can. Whether you're joining us at home, from a gym, it's a beauty, you can do this workout anywhere. Down, now I didn't tell you, but I put in some little bonus moves. 30 seconds, get the heart rate up just a bit. We're gonna do one after this. Yeah, get excited. I know I am. It's a goblet squat, you can do it. We've all, know, we've all done that before, right? Little squat hop, get the heart rate up. I'll give you low impact options, I'll give you high impact options. You got two more deadlifts right here just like this. You should feel those hamstrings, the back of the leg really talking to you here. Hinge those hips like you're sitting them back towards the wall behind you. Stand tall, squeeze the glutes, all right. One weight, one weight, find a goblet. Right here, you're gonna hold this weight at your chest. Slow and controlled, so we go down. Two, up on one, down. Two, up on one, your option down. Two, just stand it tall, 30 seconds, here we go. Down, two, up on one, slow and controlled down. Two, and a little hop, out, down. Two, jack it together, wide, down. Two, jack, nice work my friends, down. Two, up, you're halfway there, 15 more seconds, yes. Maybe you can push it here. Maybe you can grab a heavier dumbbell. You choose. My goal is to motivate you, to challenge you, to build strong legs. If I told you you had five seconds, what would that look like? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, okay. Quick little break. Grab a quick sip of water. Moving on to circuit number two. Lunges, dumbbell lunges. Pick up those heavy dumbbells. Again, going right into it, reverse lunge. So you're stepping straight back, shoulders stay stacked over, right here. Step back to lunge, stand tall. Join me when you're ready. Lunge, stand tall and squeeze. We've got 16, eight per leg, starting now. 16, 15, all right, you got it. Driving into that front glute each time as you stand tall. Tap the back knee if you can, stand tall. Tap it down, yes. Let that heart rate come down just a bit here. Shoulders stay stacked over those hips. Lower down, it doesn't have to be a speed game, slow and controlled. Slow and steady, that's what we're doing here. The heavier you're going in weights, the slower you tend to go. This is a strength workout. We are working lower body strength. Whew. Okay, I may have lost count, but I'm gonna say we got four more, right here. Four, yes, three, nice work. Moving on in two, and one. I want you to keep that right leg forward, send that left leg back, bring it down to a low lunge. Set your weights up just like this. Your hands are just gonna rest on the weights. Find a nice little lunge. How low can you get in that front right leg? That's my challenge. Right here, tap. Right here, tap it in and out. Tap it in and out. I'm gonna show you from the side. Keep going. Right here, you're tapping. I got my weights. I'm nice and loaded. Tap in, tap out. This front right leg doesn't move. No, you're not bouncing into it. No, stay steady, low. Come on. Right here, how low, low, low can you get in that standing leg? Come on, let's go. Finish, you've got four, hold that lunge, three, yes you can, two, and one. Hold your lunge, you're gonna go into lunge, lift and squeeze, lunge, lift and squeeze that back leg, lift it up, squeeze the glutes. Glutes, you got it, glutes, dig into them. Your front leg should be so on fire, I know mine is, and if you're doing this with me, yours should be too, come on, give me four, you got it. Three, come on, two, and one. Stand tall, shake, shake, shake. Shake out those legs, pick up your dumbbells. We're back to reverse lunges. Next time through, we're gonna repeat at the other leg. Here we go, shoulders down and back, right into them. Lunge, lift and squeeze. Lunge, 
lift and squeeze. I hope you are feeling this at home, you guys. We are jumping right in. Strength right here, back-to-back -back moves. Not a lot of rest between exercises. That's what's gonna keep your heart rate up and burn calories during strength workouts. Continuing to go through them. You're not going to the gym, doing one set of squats and walking around for five minutes. No, not here. These are efficient 30 minute workouts, my friends. You are burning, sweating the entire time. Hope you can hear me breathing heavy because I am right there with you every step of the way. Well, let's go. We're gonna finish with four. You got it. Three, stay with me. Two, last one right here. Last one. This time, hold that left leg forward. Set those weights down, frame your front foot. Left leg forward, right leg back. How low can you get in that front left leg? In and out, in and out. Find a spot on the floor, focus on it. You're not dipping into the weights, just using it. Maybe you can even let the weights go, yeah? Maybe you let them go. Challenge yourself. I'm gonna go to the side so you can see me better. Let's go. Stay low. Booty burn is the goal right here. Four, you got it. Three, lunge and lift. In two and one, hold that lunge. Lunge, lift and squeeze that back leg. Squeeze it up, friends. Booties are built right here. Squeeze, create resistance with your own body weight. Yes, and you know what? We got that, that bonus little cardio 30 second move coming for you. In five, you got it. Four, stay with it. Three, you're almost there. Two, and one quick shake. Grab one dumbbell if you can. You can always do this with no weight at all. Slow jump lunges right into it. Jump together, jump together, jump. If this is too much, you just go right back to those reverse lunges. Jump together, jump. 30 seconds, let's go. Your timer is started. You better be moving. You get a break after this, I promise. Woo, yes, legs on fire. Come on, stay with me. How low can you get? Jump into it, makes it harder, brings that heart rate up. Come on, it's five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, whoo. All right, when I said strength, I said strength, but I didn't realize my heart was gonna get this high. It's good, it means we're burning calories. Grab a sip, whoo. Grab a towel if you need it. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of this workout, but if you got one of these mini loop bands, you're gonna add it. It's gonna add intensity to this third set. Back to squats, my friends. Take that band right around your calf, shin, ankle area. Have a lighter resistance one. You don't wanna go too heavy. You wanna still be able to move. Pick up your dumbbells. If you don't have a band, don't worry about it. You don't need it. If you wanna get one, they're super cheap on Amazon and a great way to work out while traveling. Whew. Gotta catch that breath. We are out of breath. Front rack, squat, side, leg lift. So take it down, stand up, right leg lift, set it down. Squat, up, left leg lift, set it down. Inhale, exhale, balance, lift. When you go into that balance lift, do you feel your obliques fire up? Because I do, whoo, there they are. Hello, obliques, hello, abductors. Abductors, that outer part of that booty, also known to women as the saddlebag, right here, my friends. Band or no band, you're gonna feel that one, yeah? Stand tall, squeeze, you got it. Down, up, if it's too much for you, just take one weight to the chest. Come on, push and lift. All the way down, all the way up, lift that leg, squeeze. Down, up, four, finish, come on. Right here, three, one more each way. Inhale, exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, exhale, lift. You got it, one weight. Right at the chest. Two lateral steps, we're going to the right first with a squat. Stay low, get low in that squat to start. Right here, right for two, down, up. Sink low, right here, left for two, down, up. You got it, down, right for two, down, up. You're staying low the entire time you're stepping to the side right here, okay? Yes, you're gonna feel a burn? I know I do, come on. Let's do it together, inhale. Exhale, down, step for two, down, up. Yes, you're so good. You guys are crushing this booty burner. Uh-huh, 30 minutes, knock it out of the park, my friends. Knock it out of the park. Down, 
One, two, last one right here. To the left, we go. Left for two, down, up. Shake it out, grab your dumbbells. First move, squat with the side leg lift. There is no rest, my friends, no rest. Let's do it. Squat, this time, left leg lift, yeah? Mix it up. Here we go. Lift, let me tell you, I said at the beginning of this workout, I'd be using heavier weights if I was at home. I totally lied, because I am on the struggle bus right now, you guys. I am struggling through each rep with you. My legs are tired right now. Yes, you can. Down, up, squeeze. You got it. Down, up, squeeze. Yes, inhale, exhale. One more each way. Down, up, yes. You got one more, come on. Inhale, exhale, lift, down to one weight. One weight, lateral walks. We'll go to the right again, because I'm right here. It's easy, get low, low, low. Right here, right for two, down, up and squeeze. Sit it back, left for two, down. Stand up tall, yes, those legs. You feel this, my friend? Come on, you got it. How low can you get? Down, squeeze, you're doing so good, stay with me. Come on, you guys, what would it look like if I told you you had 10 minutes left of this workout? That's it, 10 minutes. You can do anything for 10 minutes, my friend, including the 30 second bonus move I'm about to give you right here. Drop that weight, drop that weight. Get that band nice and snug if you got it. You choose your pace, down, together, slow, is an option, fast. You choose, it's 30 seconds, down. Make sure you're dropping that butt low with each rep, down. Can you tap the floor? That's a goal, strive for it. Come on, you get a water break after this, yes? Come on, yes, you guys are doing so good. In and out, get that heart pumping, you get a break. Stay with me for 10, nine, you're doing so good, yes you can. You can do anything for the last six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, take the band off. Shake it out, shake it out. Grab some water, let the heart rate come down. Yes. Whew. All right. Water, towel, and you're back on. Set number four, sumo squats. I love this one, you guys. Man goes off to the side, grab those heavy dumbbells. Something new, it's called the sumo squat roll. Heels in, toes out, nice and wide. Take your weights like this so the head's face down. You're gonna lower into your sumo squat, back slice down the wall, set the weights on the ground if you can, pop your hips high and stand up, deadlift. Okay, down, booty up, stand tall. Start with me when you're ready. Drop low, pop, squeeze and stand. Drop, pop, squeeze and stand. That should have been the name of this. Drop, pop, squeeze and stand. We just coined a new term during this workout, okay? You got it, you guys. I tested this yesterday, this move. My hamstrings are nice and fiery today, okay? So I hope you feel this one tomorrow. Make sure as you stand tall, squeeze your glutes. Take it down, pop that booty, turn the toes. Stand and squeeze, toes out, drop low, toes in as you pop, stand and squeeze. As you stand up, adding that sumo, that little bit wider stance with the feet as inner thigh. We all wanna work that inner thigh, right? Okay, you got two more right here, to make them good. Take it down, pop the booty, stand and squeeze. You got one more, let's go my friends, down. Pop, squeeze, nice work. One weight, one weight, right here. Guess what? You're only doing this set once. Find that nice sumo lunge right here. Squat, rotate, lunge, sumo, lunge, sumo, that back toe pivot. You're staying low the entire time. Sumo, pivot, sumo, pivot, sumo, pivot, down, turn, let's go. It's five, yes, four, do you feel those legs? For three, and two, and one, nice work. Okay, I changed my mind. We're gonna do that sumo pop squat drop again one more time because it's a beautiful move and I want you to get the hang of it. If you don't get to do it twice, you won't get the hang of it, okay? Here we go. 
take it down, pop, squeeze. You see, you guys are my guinea pigs with this like full 30 minute workout filming for the blog thing. So you're getting like the real insider stuff. We're just, I'm gonna be honest with you, not all the time do we know what we're doing, okay? My business is a work in progress and I love you guys for following along and supporting it. So thank you for that. I also love our brand partner now for making this possible. I mean, you guys get free 30 minute workouts. Thanks to awesome people at Now who sell amazing products, which I've fallen in love with. Pop two more, specifically tried their beauty care line recently and I'm loving it. I always love their sports care products, but now I'm branching out. You know, I'm turning 30. I gotta use anti-wrinkle stuff. Okay, weight to the dumbbell, weight to the chest. Two more squat, squat and lunge, let's go. Squat, twist, squat, twist. Yes, all right, let's do it. How low can you stay? Let's do it, low. Yeah, we got a 30 second bonus move for you. 30 second bonus move. You can choose one dumbbell or two dumbbells. It's gonna be a dumbbell swing like you would a kettlebell swing right here. Give me four, come on. Three, stay with me, two and one. Pick up your dumbbell, one or two. I'm going two because it's heavy. Take your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. You're gonna take the dumbbells together if you have two. Hinge at the hips, swing. Hinge, swing. So, my arms, they're not powering this movement, no. My hips and glutes are. Squeeze, 30 seconds, I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see what I'm doing. Down, squeeze, it's not a squat. It's hips and glutes, stand up tall, squeeze. Squeeze, you guys know, I'm all about that booty. And today, we are crushing it. Come on, push. We're down on the ground, glute bridges after this, let's go. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, stay with me, six, five, four, three, two, ha. Set them down. Quick drink of water for you. Grab some water, down on the mat, glute bridges. You can bring your weights with you if you want. Bonus, you got that nice little band. I'm doing one weight. Taking it down, I'm gonna put my band on. This time it's gonna go above my knees, six inches above my knees. You guys, four minutes, four minutes. And that doesn't even include, we get a cool down. So this is it. Last move right here. Set the weight on your hips if you want it. Flat back is planted into the mat, right here. I'm gonna bridge, open, in, hover. Lift, open, in, hover. So now I'm hovering and not setting my hips down, I'm creating constant time under tension versus if I set them down and relax, okay? So right here, I'd probably choose a heavier band. This one's a little bit light. I could go heavier, especially because you're finishing out the workout right here. Lift, open, yes, drop. Lift, squeeze, in, drop. Keep those hips high the entire time. Lift, open, nice. You got four more, right here. Four, stay with it, you're gonna hold and pulse right here. Three, yes you can, come on, up, two, Last one right here, hold it up, hold it open, hold it open, tension on that band and pulse. Pulse, tiny pulses for 10, nine, eight, you're finishing right here, come on, six, five, four, get higher, three, two, and one, take it down. Awesome work, my friends, let's stretch it out. You worked so stinking hard, you deserve a good stretch. Okay, set those weights up to the side, take that band off, Whew. are you ready? We're gonna go down dog, because it just feels good and we're gonna open up those hips and hamstrings. So, find a tabletop, shoulders over wrist, tuck the toes, hips go high, pedal the heels, pedal the calves. This should feel really good. Pressing your armpits, your chest towards your thighs, bicycle the heels for four, three, two, last one. Send toes long, drop the heel towards the glute, take a nice hip opener, this should feel really good. Square the hips to the mat, step the leg through, rise up, low lunge, drop your back knee to the ground, Tuck your tailbone and then drive the hips forward. That tiny tuck makes all the difference. You don't need to be way out here. Nope, tiny tuck and oh yeah, you feel that. You feel that my friends, I do, okay? And then plant your hands to the ground. Half split, so straighten through this front leg. Let everything melt down towards your front knee. Feel that release in that hamstring. A lot of hammies today, yes. Walk it back forward. Tuck your back toes under, find that low lunge. Open up that windmill that we started with. Roll up the wrist, this should feel. So good for this booty. Yes? Okay, plant it down, step back, pedal it out. 
Other side, legs go high, drop the heel towards the glute. It is time, my friends. Square up that hip, step through the lunge. To stop, start talking about that post-workout. What are you gonna do? Drop that back knee to the ground. Tuck the tailbone, drive it forward. So, post-workout. Yeah? You need to refuel. We just broke down muscle tissue, a lot of it, okay? So repairing with protein. You guys know this, you've probably heard it from trainers before. Send it back, half split. Straighten through this front leg, everything melts down. I personally prefer plant protein. I love now organic plant protein, the vanilla stuff. It's my favorite. Drop that into a smoothie, put it in some almond milk and shake it up post-workout, whatever you have time for. Walk it back forward, replant the hands, tuck the back toe, open up right here, roll out that wrist. Nice glute stretch, yeah? All right, walk it back, find a nice wide forward fold, let everything hang heavy, relax through those hamstrings. My husband, on the other hand, when you're ready, drop it down, sit down, find a butterfly position, inner thighs, right here, soles of the feet to touch, sit up tall, you can press your elbows into your legs. My husband prefers whey protein, a lot of people like whey. I personally prefer plant, it just sits a little bit better with me. Whey, however, tends to be a better option for, in my personal opinion, repairing and building muscles, but plant protein, just as beneficial, you guys, okay? So, you're gonna fuel up, you're gonna get protein within 30 minutes of leaving here, of doing this workout, because you deserve it, and you're awesome, and it tastes delicious, too, so that's a good thing. There's so many, so many products out there, but I'm gonna share a couple of the ones that are my favorite and my husband's favorite, because we train a little bit differently, in the blog post that's associated with this workout video. So, you're doing this workout post, scroll down, Read below, find out what my favorite products are, specifically from now, their sports nutrition line. Awesome, awesome products. Swing one leg around. Right here, you're gonna get a little quad stretch, sit it back, okay? So check them out, I, like, I have my pre-workout, I get asked all the time, what do you do for pre-workout, what do you do post-workout? I'm sharing it all with you right here, friends, this blog post. Check it out, sit it back forward, switch out the legs, and then come back again, do this workout again, because it's a good one, and it's lower body strength. Hopefully I'll bring an upper body one too soon. All right, set it forward. That's it. You crush this workout. Continue to stretch if you need a good stretch. Grab that protein, refuel, get those muscles recovered, and have an awesome rest of your day. And then come back and do this again, you guys. Have a good one.